Hello and welcome to the character introduction video for season 9. So right off the bat I want to tell you um, if you don't want any spoilers from past seasons then don't watch this video because there are like this video I'm just gonna spoil away like spoil here and spoil there spoil everywhere. Okay so we're gonna get started with the characters so um, be right back. Our first character I'm going to introduce you to this season is Elizabeth Zelly. She was from season one, and so she is wearing the season one outfit. Um, this is what her sim looks like. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about each of these sims traits, explain what the traits mean. I'm also going to explain a little bit probably why they're back and like what was special about them in their season, and then I'll tell you about their alliances. So, um, Elizabeth Zelly is a survivor. Every time Elizabeth Zelly has a sim, her sim survives, like, a really long time. So, Zelly's sim was, um, in the season finale, um, like up against Mark Turner, and she did die a fiery death. She almost won, but Mark's a survivor too. So, well, kind of. Anyway, so, Zelly... She is tough. It's going to be hard to beat her. And also, her um, boy version of Zelly, Elijah Zelly, the gender swap of her, won a season. So, I mean, let's see if she can go up against herself. Boy version, kinda. Anyway, so her sim is adventurous. She enjoys adventure. Um, she's a bookworm. She loves reading. She's friendly, so she's been great at making friends and keeping friends. She's hot-headed, so she's going to get angry really easily, which is awesome. <laughs> and she loves to swim, so it's going to be harder for her to get fatigued, and she's going to love to swim, which, as you've seen in past seasons, this is like an amazing trait to have. Um, so, anyways, I think for her alliance, she chose Mummy Kenny, who you will get to see soon. So that's really cool. And for her enemy, she chose Jordan the werewolf! Wahaha. So anyways, um, you'll get to... I'll introduce those sims in just a little bit if you don't remember them already. So yes, this is Elizabeth Sully. Okay, so this sim right here is Mummy Kenny. It won't let me bring him in to create a sim because he's a mummy. So um, this is Kenny Schwarz. And Kenny was um, cursed by a mummy because he got in a fight with a mummy and he lost the mummy and then he unfortunately slept in the cursed sarcophagus. So Kenny became a mummy. So this is Mummy Kenny. And he is by far the fan favorite here. Um, everybody voted to see who they wanted to come back and Mummy Kenny creamed everyone. So he's going to start the season off with an apple um, because he was like by far the fan favorite. Poor Mummy Kenny is super slow and he he's he's kind of a nice mummy he just wants to wash the dishes and take care of things but he's so slow that it's really not advantageous for him to do that um his traits are that he's adventurous so he likes to go on adventures he loves the outdoors so he really enjoys being outside he's athletic so um he, apparently he'll learn the athletic skill faster and he doesn't get fatigued as much um mummy kenny also never has to go to the bathroom and he never has to go to sleep because he's a mummy so those are good things for Mummy Kenny. Um, he's lucky. I don't. I don't know how lucky he is. He got turned into a mummy, um, and he is friendly. So he's gonna. He's going to uh, become friends with people and keep friendships better. Um, yeah, Mummy Kenny w died the season that he was in because um, dear beloved Thepit summoned a meteor after Mummy lost. Mummy Kenny lost the competition and. Everyone else stayed out of the way, but Mummy Kenny just kind of stood there and tried to shield himself with his leg and arm from a meteor. So, of course, he got, like, demolished and stuff. So, yeah, this is dear sweet little Mummy Kenny, who's just going to probably die. Um, but, but I hope he survives. Personally, my hope for the entire season of Hunger Games is that Mummy Kenny will win this season. And he's going to go on to the final season and he will win the final season. That is what I hope happens. But we'll see. We will see. This fantastic sim right here is Tom Strait from season one. Tom was an interesting sim. He, um, I don't know. He was fairly boring at first. He didn't really do a lot. He was just kind of surviving, like, under the radar, you know. And then, towards the end of the season, he starts to get mean and aggressive. And you're like, what the heck, Tom? Why are you being mean and aggressive? And it was really funny, because none of his traits here specifically would make him be mean and aggressive. But, like, he'd be, like, doing papers as a rock fights to survive. And, like, in the end, he'd just be like, rawr, instead of... Anyways, you'd have to see it. 
I think, to be abused by it. But anyways, this this Sim, he's going to do what it takes. Um, he's also adventurous. So far, adventurous is the trait that everyone has. Um, he's a couch potato, so he's going to really enjoy watching TV and playing video games um, and not want to run on treadmills and stuff like that. Uh, he has a good sense of humor, so he's going to tell the best jokes. He's lucky, so... Um, oh, yeah. I think multiple times during the season, too, Tom would lose competitions, and he'd like, be in a room with fire or this or that, and he'd always survive it, Like, like even though he shouldn't. So he really is pretty lucky. He's also perceptive, so he's going to learn other skills faster. Um, for Tom's alliance, he chose Nick Sands. Unfortunately, Nick Sands chose to be enemies with like pretty much everyone so he was enemies with Tom so they're at neutral um Nick Sands isn't an enemy with Tom but they're not friends either they're just kind of neutral they canceled each other out so um Tom does not have an alliance so technically it's Nick Sands and he chose his enemy to be Ed Wallenweider and Ed chose well, everyone to be his enemy. So, so Tom and Ed are like super mortal enemies. Like they hate each other so much. Um, and yeah, so this is Tom and Tom is secretly a robot deep down inside. And I just want you all to know that. And yeah. Okay. Anyways, next sim. This beautiful lady is Jasmine Mankiss. Um, this is Jeremy Mankiss's gender swap sim from the gender swap season um yeah so anyways the gender swap season is there's a button in create a sim where i can just press a button and you turn the sim into the opposite gender so this is jeremy mankis or Jer jeremy jeremy monkowskis after you gender swap button him um and then everybody just made up these cra ca crazy character traits so like he had to choose two of the traits that were his i think his actual traits were that he was grumpy um, so they're in grumpy moods a lot and that he loves the cold. So um, those were the two traits from Jeremy. The other three were made up and added for Jasmine Mankiss, who was quite the character in her season, um, which is why she's back. Um, she's a flirty, so she's always looking for romance and she's always doing flirty things. Um, she's insane. So she acts extremely unpredictably and she wears whatever she wants. She says what she wants. She's kind of rude. I mean, but she's just she's just insane. Um, and then this one is she's irresistible. So pretty much everybody loves Jasmine, even though she's insane and flirty and grumpy. Everyone just loves her and all of the Sims and like even the horses from the last season, like all the animals and the Sims, they just want to talk to her all the time. So she's going to be like, oh, I'm going to go here and do this. No, because 10 Sims want to talk to you and they're all going to like swarm her. So like that's what happens with poor Jasmine Mankiss. Um, Jasmine's lifelong goal has changed. Her old lifelong goal used to be have a baby and get pregnant and live off the government. Well, that kind of happened, except for her baby died last season um, with Elijah Zelly, who's actually Zelly's gender swap. And so anyways, her baby died and it was really sad, um, except for Jasmine got a lot of money from insurance. So Jasmine now realizes she's going to take care of the kid if it dies. So now she's kind of crazy um, craphead who wants to have a baby and kill it so she can live off insurance, which is pretty much just terrible. So this lady's terrible and, um, but that's Jasmine, you know, so that is her. Okay. So I totally forgot. Jasmine has some interesting relationships. Um, she is dating Eric Montano. Um, she's also, um, an alliance with him. So, um, Jasmine and Eric are together. Um, and part of the reason is the second season with Jeremy and, um, Eric in it, uh, Eric chose Jeremy as his alliance and Jeremy did not choose Eric. There was a betrayal there. So this time Jeremy is making sure he does not betray Eric. It's very nice of him. Um, Jasmine chose, oh yeah, she chose me, me, my, my Sim Morgan Ledbetter to be her enemy. Oh, I'm just... I feel really hurt about this. The reason is because she knows I secretly run the Hunger Games and it's about payback. So fair enough, I suppose. Um, so anyways, Jasmine is my enemy. Um, on to the next sim. This sim is Eric Montano from season two, I believe, the uh, co-op season. Um, Eric, as you saw, is in a relationship with Jasmine Mankiss. And... Um, yeah, so that's what's up with them. And uh, and Eric chose his enemy to be me too. Eric actually was like 
trying to recruit people to be my enemy this season. So, so if I would have known this ahead of time, Eric would have been my enemy too. We would be super enemies, but I didn't. So we're just kind of enemies. Um, so Eric is dramatic, which is an amazing um trait for Sims. He's also friendly, so he's gonna get along with other Sims and keep friendships well. He has a great sense of humor, so he's gonna tell really great jokes. He's lucky, so actually Eric. Eric, yeah, Eric Montano survived pretty late into his season. I don't remember how he died exactly, but he did survive pretty late, so that was cool. Um, he's a night owl, so he loves staying up late, and he's gonna get like this nice b buff in the b -b -b buff in the <laughs> night, and he's gonna get a negative buff during the morning. So yeah, this is Eric, and this is what he looks like, and yeah. This sim is Erica Montano. Um, this is Eric's gender swap sim from the gender swap season. Um, she is a mean lady. Um, so, like I said, you only had to keep two traits that were the same. So she is lucky like Eric was, and she is dramatic like Eric was. However, she is also a diva. Um, so pretty much, yeah, a diva is what a diva is, you know, it sounds like. So she's a diva. Um, she's also hot-headed, so she's really quick to get angry, and she, um, anything will just, like, make her ticked off. And she's mean-spirited, so she loves to fight, and she never loses whenever she fights. So she's always gonna win every time she ever gets in a fight with anyone. So she's just kind of like this mean kick-butt sim. Um, the reason why everybody loves Erica is because she's just going around slapping people. Like, who does that? So anyways, Erica likes to run around and slap people. Um, she has an interesting set of relationships because she, although she didn't choose them as their alliance, she is, um, let me see. I'm going to double check to make sure I'm right on this. Oh, be right back. Okay. So Erica chose Eric as her alliance. So Erica and Eric, they're, they're, they're together. Um, Erica is an alliance with Eric. Um, and she chose me to be her enemy. Well, I also chose her to be my enemy because I know she's a mean sim and she goes around slapping people. So we are super enemies, like crazy enemies. I guess technically other people, they don't choose enemies. They just choose people to dislike. Um, but we are enemies. We're mortal enemies. Um, and Eric chose, I don't know if I said this, Eric chose Jasmine to be his alliance, um, who he's dating. And then he chose me to be his enemy. I already think I told you that. I think I told you that. Anyways, so Jasmine chose Eric as alliance, me as her enemy. So that is who she chose for her stuff. And if you can tell here, she's all ready to get in a fight already. So I feel like I'm going to get beat up. Um, that's how I feel. So we're actually next going on to my sim. So this is my sim, Morgan Ledbetter. Um, she was in season one with Tom and Zelly, so we're all three wearing the same outfit. Um, my sim is artistic, so she likes to do artsy things. I'm not actually a good musician, but it comes with it, so whatever. Um, I'm a couch potato, so I like to watch TV and play video games, and I'm not really into working out and stuff. Um, I'm excitable, so my sim, Morgan, she gets excited about everything. She's just like, oh my gosh, I'm excited about this, I'm excited about that. Um... And she's family oriented, so that's not going to help me in the Hunger Games because I'm not going to have a family. Um, and I'm good. So I like to go out of my way to help other Sims. And yeah, I'm just, I'm a good Sim. Um, somebody here, I feel like, I feel like Erica does not like good Sims because she's mean spirited. Um, for my alliance, I chose Tom Strait. So Tom Strait does have an alliance, even though his alliance chose to be enemies with him and that left them neutral. I chose to be Tom's alliance. So Tom and I will be alliances, even though like half the people here want to be my enemy because of Eric. Um, so yeah, I have, my enemies are Jasmine, um, Eric, Erica, and then Jordan, which I'll get to, and then Nick and Ed. And yeah, anyways. Oh my gosh, Morgan is not going to make it. Everybody is going to be so mean to her because we're all enemies. And, but Tom and I, maybe Tom and I will make it. Anyway, so this is my sim, Morgan Ledbetter. So this is Ed Vollenweider. Um, he is from the XQA tester season. He actually died and then was brought back later and was in the final competition, but he was too good for it and he died during that too. 
Um, and pretty much his sim is a survivor. It's the most logical, smart sim of all of the sims that we've seen so far to this day. Um, we'll see if he continues to be the most smart and logical sim this season. Um, Ed does not want an alliance. He said, this is a competition, not a hand-holding contest. I don't need an alliance. Same with lovers. And make everyone my enemy but myself. So everybody is an enemy with Ed. Um, except for... Nope, everyone is. Um, and he actually has like a few like super enemies. Because some people chose him as their enemies. I think he and Tom Strait maybe are super enemies. And he and Nick Sands are super enemies. Um, yeah, I think so. We'll double check. But I'm pretty sure that's the way it is. Um, so Ed Sim is absent-minded. So he's going to occasionally forget what he's up to. And uh, get a little lost. Um, he's a born salesman, so he's going to be really good at selling things. I don't think that's going to help him in the Hunger Games. Um, he's handy, so he can never be electrocuted when repairing things. He's really good at repairing stuff. Um, he loves the outdoors, so he's going to really enjoy being outside. And he's a night owl, so he's going to do really good whenever he stays up late. And he's going to be really, like, unhappy if he's up in the morning. But anyways, so... This is Ed, and he's probably going to be pretty amazing. We'll see. Um, the first time he died, he died, like, cooking in the kitchen, because his cooking is terrible. But that's just because he has so many skills, he's had to spread them out all over. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see how Ed does. So, this sim is Nick Sands. Well, it's actually opposite Nick Sands. Um, it looks like Nick Sands, kind of, but the uh, traits and stuff are opposite. So, um... Nick Sands is allied with Mummy Kenny because he chose Mummy Kenny. Um, however, he is um, against. Oh yeah, he's just he's neutral with Tom because he chose to be enemies with everybody else, but Tom chose him as an alliance, so he's neutral with Tom. And then Ed and him are super enemies because they chose each other as enemies. Okay, so Nick Sands is opposite Nick Sands. He is a cat lover. He just loves cats so much, and he's a diva, so he's super dramatic and diva-ish. Um, he's a kleptomaniac, so he likes to steal things. He is a never nude, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a bit, but he is a never nude for sure. Um, he's also an amazing sculptor. He's great at sculpting things. So, Nick Sands, above all, he is a never nude. And he's not just a never nude for himself. He does not like it when other people are nude, like, at all. He gets really upset. So, Nick Sands' character in the last season, like, his season liked to get nude, you know? They liked to be naked and swimming around in the pools naked. Anyways, so Nick would be like, why are you naked? And he'd, like, be all unhappy about it all the time. And then he even stole someone's clothes one time when they were naked. And then whenever he takes baths, he's always wearing clothes. So he's just, like, very adamant that nobody else becomes naked. He's just super never nude. So, yeah. This is Nick Sand's opposite character. This sim, we'll go into create a sim in a bit, but I wanted to remember the relationships, is Jordan Lynn, a uh, werewolf Jordan specifically. His eyes are kind of creepy, if you can tell, because he's a werewolf. Um, he became a werewolf early on, and he's a very entertaining werewolf. He behaves like a werewolf, and he does werewolfy things. Um, right now, he's in human form. He is best friends. He's our only set of best friend with Kenny Schwartz. They both chose each other, so they are super best friends. Um, he's enemies with me because, um, as you can see here, he is dating Erica, though they aren't, they aren't in, like, neither one chose each other as an alliance, so they have no relationship right here. They're just dating. Um, so we'll see how this goes. She's kind of hard to get along with, and, and Jordan is a werewolf. I, I see here that an option for her is to, um, ask, where is it? Um... There was a romantic relationship option somewhere that was asking him to forsake being a werewolf. Um, so she's not really into him being a werewolf, apparently. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so anyways, they're just dating. Um, he chose me as an enemy. So the werewolf and I are enemies. Um, or at least we're, we dislike each other a lot. Zelly chose him as an enemy. Um, and then he chose Eric as an enemy. And then Ed chose him as an enemy. And then Nick chose him as an enemy. So like... Along with me, I mean, maybe even more so than me. No, a little bit less than me. Jordan has a ton of enemies. So we will see how that goes for Jordan. Um, 
We shall see how that goes for Jordan, having so many enemies. So, yeah, like I said, this is Jordan's sim, the werewolf. I, want I don't know how to turn him into a werewolf to show you here and create a sim. Anyways, he's a werewolf. You'll see it later. Um, he's absent-minded, so he gets distracted a little bit easily. Um, he is... Ooh, we're going to make his lifetime wish. Leader of the pack. Convert five sims to werewolves. Okay, so anyways, um, he is evil. Um, Jordan isn't really evil in real life. It's just... Um, he delights in the misfortune of others, um, especially in the Sims Hunger Games, because, like, let's face it, the Sims evil is, like, a really cartoony, like, like, kind of evil, like, I, I don't know, it's not, like, really evil. Anyways, Jordan Sim, evil works for him. Um, and that means he's gonna be, like, not getting along with my Sim, who is good on that, and we're already enemies, so, oh my gosh. Okay, so, he's also friendly, he's gonna be really friendly, he's gonna be great at making friends. Um, he's a heavy sleeper, um, so he's going to sleep through, like, whatever, anything. And he's also inappropriate. He is the evil, inappropriate werewolf who gets lost and and likes to sleep heavily. But he's also friendly. So, anyways, he's going to say the wrong thing at the wrong time. He's never going to apologize. Jasmine Mankiss is also um, inappropriate. So, we have a few inappropriate sims. We'll see how this goes. So, um, yeah, this is Jordan Werewolf. Okay, so that those are that blah, blah blah blah. I have just introduced you to the ten Sims for this season. Um, it's going to be an interesting bunch of people, as you can see here. People already want to fight. People are people are ready to fight. What what am I? I am making a really angry face at Ed right there. Oh man, Ed, watch your back. I'm out to get you. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be great. I'm going to go ahead and make a training day video after this and we'll see how that goes um i didn't actually change their skills their skills are whatever they were from the past season so everybody has their skills and just they're whatever they were um you might remember them and yeah jordan had his first kiss because i made him kiss someone so they could be dating erica anyways on to the next video